Happening today, thousands are going to be gathering here in the Cap City for the 29th annual Arnold Sports Festival. This year, the Expo Hall is bigger than ever with more than a thousand booths and vendors. NBC 4's Tyler Carter joins us now live from the convention center this morning with a look at everything that's going on. Tyler, we got to see some muscles this morning. What are you seeing? Exactly, Hattie. Good morning to you. There is a new event that we have here today. It's the Scottish Highland Games. Super cool event that they brought from the outside. They're bringing it inside. Here I have Rob McKeeman with yep. me. Tell me a little bit about the Scottish Highland Games. So obviously normally it's an outdoor thing. This is from Scotland, as indicated in the name. Um, they've been doing it for a couple hundred years. It predates the Olympics. There's many events that look similar to things you would see in the Olympics, some of the throws, and there's things that don't look so similar that are kind of exclusive to us. Um, but essentially, we're track and field, and what we're doing is we're bringing it to an indoor format. So if I could show you, this is a normal 28-pound weight. This is what the men throw light. And to get the same thing for an indoor format, it gets significantly bigger, oh, wow. right? This is so that it's a little bit softer, we can hit it, we don't have to worry about it damaging surfaces. And um, <clears throat> these were custom made so that we could put this on this year. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. See, if I think I, can, I got a little game here and I can compete in this competition. <laughs> so let's see. All right, Tyler, go ahead. Got to give it the good wind up. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, and she even gave a grunt. That I loved awesome. it. Awesome. Yeah, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to show you guys how it's really done. <laughs> that was no, bad. She, she did, she that did well. That really wasn't bad. I mean, you can't throw it without a kilt, though. <laughs> it's all in the kilt, as they say. All right, let's see it. See if we get a grunt out of this guy. I don't know. He's a professional. Whoa. And a spin. How about that? There was no grunt. No grunt. But That's that made it all the way to the back wall. That is impressive. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I think. You know, Tyler. I mean, whatever. You're right up there a with bit them. Than mine, so. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny bit. I know one thing you told me, which is really cool. We had some people out here break world records yes. yesterday. Our amateur men broke several records. So, 25 pound sheaf doesn't get thrown very often. We were able to throw it here. We ran out of room, actually, so our pole only went up to 27.9. We ended up throwing over the rafters. Uh, no one quite made that, but in the process, we broke the record three times, hitting 26 feet, 27.9, and we had four guys do that. And then we took four guys, took attempt, I'm sorry, three guys took attempts at 31 feet. Then our masters did the same thing. They've never thrown a 25-pound sheaf. We could say every single record was a world record, but we're just going to go with the top one, which two guys did. All right, well, we'll see if people can break that again today, correct? Well, we have our pros coming out today, so we would expect that to happen. All right, well, you know what, guys? I'm going to go get a protein shake and yes. brush up <laughs> on my muscle skills a little bit. Yeah. So live out here at the Expo Center, Tyler Carter for NBC4. Back to you guys. She deserves that protein shake. Way to go, yes. Tyler. Give her that 18-egg omelet. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Ty.